I have not yet, not yet played out on my Arch Linux LXQT. I've set up Minecraft as a application, so the game. I set already up a server, which is actually not that difficult. You see another video, that's the daemon that's gonna run it. But now I was wondering, uh, what about mods? There are beautiful mods around in the world. And I saw already control find on the web page. Spygot is the most widely used modded Minecraft server in the world. Hence there is Spygot AOR. Spygot package build builds on top of the files of. This means that the Spygot server as well provides its own systemd files. Okay. Confir configuration files are in here. By the way, we did not had a look, we had not uh, a look at the file in the other video on Minecraft. Is there no Minecraft in here? ATC? No. Let's peek. We've installed that one and that one. And the files are in etc configuration D, conf D. They put themselves in there. Yep, that's the one. So, server root, that's that. Backup destination, that's good. Key backup stand. Backup path, world, game user. Minecraft server things. So this is the setting. If you want to have more memory usage and all that, you can Google what's the best for you. Um, but if you increase these numbers, you'll use more memory. I believe it is. Idle server was this. Ah, if nobody's using it, it's going to shut down. So this is the port if you want to change to a different port, then here's the place. And all the rest is not that so, not so important. Um, fine, so that's something we missed and didn't show in the other video anyway. It's gonna do some service, running a server with a backup service and some logging if you wanna see what's going wrong in your system, var log on Minecraft. All right, modding so. You know how that works. Now, Spigot. What's that? It's new for me. Yay, minus S, Spigot. Spigot, Spigot, something like that. Now, that's important for us to know that we have installed eight. In the other videos, we had eight. So number four, we're gonna keep everything the same. I think that would be common sense. Choices, choices, choices. <laughs> you know, it's my version here, my name. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Spygot, yeah, check it out. Launcher, Mojang com objects server jar quite a uh, script it seems and if you are interested well this is spiket uh, builds or well, I don't know what version we are on we'll see <laughs> it works and there are downloads issues donate team wiki so it's up to you to spend your life now in all these pages and see what you like in there. And ask those guys for help because this is not my thing at all. Now what I wanted to go to is actually AOR Spivot. Since my mind is more interested in the stuff that's technical, I want to read this. This is what I want to read. So 
the craft bucket. The source is coming from here. Jenkins build tools to jar. Then it provides services and timers and service and a configuration and a shell file. Gonna install all of these. Okay. Oh, it's still busy. As in super busy. Okay. Keep busy. Craft, craft bucket I saw passing by. Let's kill the time by reading this again. I was hoping to see some pictures actually on here. Some screenshots. What can we actually see, find? My companion Keanu Reeves. I suppose you can get this guy. custom chats so these are all things let's say like in a browser an extension an extension to make minecraft better newer have more options in there stuff like that and there are 2181 pages that's why i said you can spend your life in here maybe we can do a rating so People said, but the have taken here. What's this? Mindtopia plugin. This seems to be not about games. This is all written in Dutch. So I'm reading it. <laughs> Strange. Seems to be not about gaming anymore. Without stock market. Alright. So, got many votes. Not sure if I'm in the right place. I thought I would be downloading games, like worlds, and, and stuff like that. Cuberite maybe. Simple web interface. Ah, that's good for us. Then we have something GUI like. Oh, it's still not that simple. You have to replace the Minecraft D with spigots wherever you encounter it. Bucket, that's the site I was going on. Back in the days. And then we do, did this one, get craft bucket or something, setting up a server. We did everything in Windows, of course, but here is Linux. A last build. Another project we keep on spending our time in here. It seems to have finished. Okay. The world data is uh, in here, craft bucket, and the server runs as craft bucket to increase security. Use the spigot to start and stop or back up the server. Well, that's what we will do. Eh? Let's see, if they made something in here. So nothing in here. Okay. They haven't thought about making a dot desktop file in the user share applications. So let's launch this like that. Same things as the other one. Starting server done. I suppose we can have a console too. There's no spigot session to connect to. Uh-huh. Okay. There's a configuration file somewhere. Well, 
read that's what we need to do always read keep reading let's go back to here we need to do the setup thingy Not sure what my next step is, but let's see what this does now. Having installed the other guy, please close it first. Mm -hmm. Survival. Let's have a look what I'm actually hosting right now I am hosting already something they say might be my own one if one server is running the other one can't run so that's not the one who knows right running something all right okay seems to be night but I think it's the game from last time since I'm looking at my Java my lava not Java so maybe escape disconnect um, yep yeah. they're both running now Okay, that's um, one less in the leads. Okay, cancel, quit game. Now I have to stop this server, right? Minecraft stop. Was already dead. Good, I want you to be dead. Fine. Now the other one was, uh, what name was it again that we installed? Spigot. How do you remember things like that? Start. Aha, uh -huh, that's better. But let's be sure. There is no spigot session to connect to. So it started. And there is no session to connect to. What helps? What will happen if you take a look then? There is no session to connect to. It wants to have a session. So on, we are not running anything on 1207. So here nothing is happening at this address. Huh. Let's add that. So that's agreed. We need to have something to log into. There is no session. Okay, pausing a bit and reading. All right, I found a nice tutorial online. So what did I Google? Always important. Arch Minicraft, which is Minecraft, Spigot Launch, and I clicked, well, I don't know what I clicked, but I clicked and ended up here with Volter.com. And it says here, this is all things we've done already. This is uh, AOR stuff. I mean, it's easier to do this via AOR than like this. And then, they mentioned something they did not mention in here they mentioned it and they did not mention it it should say here as well that you need to go to the eula text yes there is as well a eula text in here and which screen shows that that's this one so i went inside cdsrv found that not only have I Minecraft, which I changed in the video, 
but I also have a craft bucket now and it has also EULA text. So I pseudo nano EULA text this and then I said, okay, let's uh, edit this thing from false to true. That's done. And now I can finally launch spigot and spigot start, spigot status running. And this is how much amount of memory I'm using and have 16 gigabytes. So I can pretty much host a few more of people. So we have a server running. I can show you that again like this. Well, the memory is growing and don't do anything. <laughs> Minecraft launcher. Let's see what we get on the player's end. So we're launching a different kind of server. And we wait for it to actually work or should I just delete this guy and start again? Done. Voila. All right. I'm not looking at my lava. So I am in a different world altogether. And it's building, it's building. Some mountains there. And that's pretty much it. But we're at the seaside. Let's go for a swim. Yeah, flowers. Jump. Bloop, 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 bloop. Up. Move along. Jump, 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 jump. So there we are in a different kind of world. Destroy the tree, hold down left button. All right. Don't want to destroy trees. Like trees. Some mud. Can't we kill some mud? I suppose not. But you can dig stuff. I thought. <laughs> Maybe I need some tools to dig. Can't dig with my hands, I suppose. So anyway. Um, destroy a tree. Okay, I'll try to destroy a tree. Hold down left button. Oh, Eric, hold down, not click like a berserker. Yay. Me got wood. There you go. So basically we're now connected to another kind of world and that's um, hosted here. And then I see them add things to it. So I'm talking about my son, of course. He's going to add some mods to it and stuff like that. Don't really remember where I got those, probably on the websites. So you can keep on um, taking a look at, look at these things, Feed the Beast. Feed the Beast, Pyramid Reborn. We can take a look at some pictures, I hope. Six year. Can we click something? This is tech, this is official pack, mini game. Quests. What's mini game? <laughs> okay. Um, no image, but something else. Would be nice to see what's possible. You see, it can be awesome Minecraft. You're on out in space and you're in, in, in all kinds of things. Bookshelf, chameleon, chisel. Dark Utils, Flux Network, what is all this? So a lot of things you can add to your system and have fun with. But this is definitely out of the scope of the video. <laughs> all right, have fun.